Hey, what's up? My name's Grant Kenoki. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and artist, and you're listening to Tower 98.5. We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. You're listening to Power 98.5, powered by United Angels Dream, your number one resource for public relations, entertainment, and multimedia. Contact them today at unitedangelsdream.com. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Prepare yourself. Okay, let's go. Empowering listeners from the U.S. to the U.K. Live on air with Stephen Cuoco. Prepare yourself. Okay, let's go. I have got one of the best and most incredible professionals in a world of culinary, art, food. I mean, Chef Anthony Rush from France, currently lives in Southern California. Chef, how are you today? I'm good, Steven. Thank you very much for everything you're, you said. <laughs> you're welcome. And thank you for everyone. Yes, we're, we were running a couple minutes late. But no worries. I want to thank you for being here, tuning in everywhere, you know, through the Alexa, the iOS Android app, you know, live radio FM, my tuner. Oh, chef. I mean, I don't even want to go here because I know I'm going to screw up saying this, but where did you begin? Because you studied uh, like culinary arts and hospitality at, because I don't want to say, <laughs> how do you say it? Is it Michel Cervix School in France? Yeah. Yes. I would have messed that up. How long were you there for? So in France, actually, I spent six years in school because you can learn every single step, like how to become a chef or a pastry chef or how to make bread and chocolate, like everything you need to know when you want to become a chef. Okay. And did did it prepare you or did you already have these set skills before you went to so school? So I was like, actually, my dad is a chef too. So I literally grew up in the kitchen mm -hmm. between vegetable and food. And I always liked to eat when I was a kid. So, I mean, the best way for me to make food for myself was to learn how to feed myself like properly and that's what I did. So I was really like always being passionate about cooking and at like, 15 years old, I think, I, I started culinary school, yeah. And how long have you been doing this for? So now I'm 35, so um, like you make the count, you know. It's been 20 years I've been in the kitchen now. Wow, and you don't even look it. You don't even look anywhere <laughs> near that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's very fun. Like, it's very passion for me, so I do feel when you make what you love, you know, like, that's very enjoyable every day, so. Good. And there's a, I, I have here a video, and this was, I think it was most recent. Um, I believe it's connected to your website. I'm going to go ahead and play it. It's like where you're in the kitchen. I think it's a promo video. Do you recall what I'm talking about? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to play that live. Would you like to listen to it? Sure. All right, here we go. Success is never on, you know, it just rented and the rent is due every day. I'm just walking out and I'm going to keep doing it until like, I really get on the top. My name is Anthony Barr and I'm the owner of Anthony Barr Cooking. Very young, I really enjoy eating. So the best way for me like to make myself happy about the food is like to learn how to cook. I start like cooking like escargot, garlic butter, onion soup, beef bourguignon, like very, very old school. We don't do that in France anymore, but I wanted to see and learn more from another country. And every single travel I did in my life and every single chef I work with, I really took like a little bit of each one to make like what I'm doing right now. I consider myself an artist. Every single plate I do, I always draw before. And I really appreciate when people like see the plate and say, wow. Like before 
even trying, they really appreciate. I started cooking class when like most people used to come to my restaurant and asking me, okay, how you do that? Thinking about like how I can market myself, the best deal for me was like to be open my own business. I think the website was more like how to start the conversation with people. I just go online and say, okay, great website. And of course I find like GoDaddy, we have all these templates already done. So it was for me the easy because I'm not like a computer guy, I'm very old school. Like, I'm still doing all my recipe by writing on a piece of paper. To be able to create the website without calling someone to help me, GoDaddy was perfect. It took me like maybe like a few hours just to do it and I was like so like proud about myself because I created like my first website and it was like it was amazing. The message I want to give to everybody is the food memory like start like very young. I grew up in the kitchen, so like for me it was like naturally like working the produce, like try some new food, like make new experience. My mom always used to give us like a fresh tomato and I can totally remember this flavor, like uh, sweet, acid, it was perfect, you know? So it's very important at a young age to learn what is good for you and quality produce. I'm not here just like to make profit or to sell food. I'm there because I want them to have a good experience. I want them to be happy and I want them to come back and say, wow, I tried something over there. Well, like, it was amazing. I love that. I don't even consider that a promo video. Now, you did do something with GoDaddy. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that, Chef? Yeah, first of all, I want to apologize for the accent. I don't know if everybody understands, you know, but... Oh, you're coming <laughs> across great. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so I did, like, actually, like, uh, during... Before the quarantine, I stopped my company, which was, like, Anthony Bar Cooking. Like, we're doing, like, cooking class to teach people how to cook, like, healthy food or different stuff. And I actually, like, work with GoDaddy on my website, and they definitely like the idea I got. So they took me as a face of GoDaddy. So if you go to the website and you start like uh, buying a domain or something like that, you will probably see my face and and my website. So it was a, a very good partnership with them to uh, actually marketing my company and working with them on the way. You know? So yeah, it, it was fun and it, it was pretty cool. Now you have on your website, Chef, Lifestyle Meals. Chef Anthony Barr has put together a menu for the community so they can enjoy chef-prepared meals in a comfort and safety of their own homes. You've got a coupon code here. Can you tell us a little bit more about these meals? Are you still doing them? What's the, what's the goal for this lifestyle meal plan? So we stopped like during the quarantine, it was hard to be able to work with people around. So like we put everything on, on stop by for now. But yeah, the idea was to to teach people how to find a perfect balance lifestyle, which like, as you say, you know, like I'm a chef and I love to eat, but I still know what is good for myself. And when I met people, most of the time they asked me, OK, you don't really look like a chef. And I'm always like answering the same answer saying okay like i definitely look like a chef should look because i know what is good for myself so you can eat everything i love cheese i love dairy i love like uh, i really love sweet and chocolate and all that but you need to find the perfect balance to be able to have this lifestyle and stay healthy and that's what i was trying to do teaching people about what they need every day what your body need and what what fuel you need to give to to your body and so that was more like a educative and at the same time like working with pleasure of the of like enjoying nice food you know because most of the time when people think about lifestyle change or i need to make a diet it's only the the picture that like uh like steamed chicken or steamed broccoli with no flavor. And that's not true. You can still like losing weight or, or doing a special diet with like very good food. You know? So that was my, my message be, behind that. Mm -hmm. And what, if you can share with us, what does it mean to have that type of healthy lifestyle and that healthy living? What, what does that mean to you? of what you're trying to convey to the public through your recipes, through your muse, your inspiration, your cooking? It's everything. Like everybody, I want everybody to understand that like food is the best medicine you can find. Like the problem we have through the art society, we fight the disease when it's too late. So people like come to me when they're already overweight, when they're already like a, a problem like low energy, have all these diseases about food when it's too late, which is sad because it's so easy to take care of it as a young age or just like starting just because of your diet. 
that like we will not have to deal with the problem after you know? and is food it's everything like keep in mind that bring you energy that being so if you have energy like probably more happy you have like stuff you have time to do more stuff so is definitely the key to have like a, a better happy life for me and as soon as you understand that i mean everything go in the same direction and like you probably can achieve more of your goal you you can enjoy more time with your family is is definitely the key and i do feel like as today we we all rush on everything trying to be distracted doing more activity and all that but we don't understand that the fundamental is like the food we eat you know and that's what i'm trying to do even today like trying to teach kids about how it's important to find the balance on your diet and because that's what fuel your body that's it which brings us into the abc foundation now this is very exactly. good this is interesting um, definitely drop all the gems, the information that you would like everyone to know, how to help, how to become part of the foundation. Uh, where would you like to begin with the ABC Foundation? Because this is huge. So ABC is like a, it's a childhood story. I remember I'm, I grew up in the north of France, a little city is called Armentier, not too far from Lille and Belgium. And I'm from the countryside. So like all over around me was like farmland and uh, educational ed educational farm so i remember with school every weekend we used to go to the farm just like see animal and learn about growing vegetable and just playing with dirt like a kid will do you know and i kind of like growing up being nostalgic about this time knowing like every kid has today they all have like smartphone like electronic device and all that and not anyone want to play outside anymore want to discover like we, we did like a test, like we asked some kid, like where the apple used to come, where vegetable used to come. And if I remember right, it was like three kids on eight kids was, uh, was answer, like this come from the supermarket. No one has idea was you were like a farmer behind all that. You know? So the idea was like to bring back the kids outside and discover nature again, like being connected with the outside world, understand like vegetable, legume tree like bee all all the stuff you can find outside was really like this open them eyes about like being outside again so we start thinking about creating this non-profit company like an educational farm which is called abc farm we have a website so there's a lot of way to help and we still like fundraising right now he's gonna have like a lot of like charity events or i'm gonna cook to bring money for the company and the goal is to build a farm here in south California and to work with school and parents and all that to be able to bring kids one time or two times a week and, and learn again about all this necessary stuff. So. And what's the support been like so far? The thing is like everything starts like during the quarantine when we were all stuck at home. So there's like the project start, but we kind of like slow down because of all that. And we're just starting again now with some like another farm partner which I work with. And it starts to, um, to to be a big deal. I'm start working with school around here in Temecula like the next week, or I'm gonna start teaching kids about what is necessary to eat and how everything grows. So it's going slow step by step, but it's not about like how slow it's gonna take. It's very like my goal is to create that farm, we will happen one day. But uh, is there is a message behind, you know, and I feel like when parents are going to be more and more concerned about this problem, I feel like everybody's going to enjoy it and, and we will make it happen. Good, good, because this is really worthwhile. And, and to donate, and you can go to <laughs> chefanthonybar.com. Uh, chef, there is a space here or a place where it says foundation, and you can scroll down. It gives you a lot of detailed information and you can donate yes and even on the abc farm foundation the website like you can definitely see the project and some video about what we're doing over there and you can still participate on this website too so good good and what you've been getting in the news lately 
And why I'm saying good is because like I'm, I'm reading this information, I'm going through and processing all of this, and it's just a lot. It's just really, really a lot. And it just almost seems like is there's not enough information. So is there going to be like more videos, more interviews, anything coming up at all that we're going to be able to find out about ABC Foundation? Yes, actually, I'm working on it. And like, I really try not to, to work with school to bring kids. And so there's, there's going to be more videos coming, like, and some little game we play with kids, like, in a way to teach them what is important, but like uh, in a funny way uh, with, with game. And uh, I'm working actually, like, I'm volunteer, like, with a farm who's already built here in Temecula, where they do, like, an eco farm. And uh, so I'm starting to bring with them all the idea for ABC because the idea is not is not a company who bring profit. It just if I can see this kind of farm growing everywhere in USA, it will be it will be my dream, you know. And that's what I'm working on, like trying to bring that message to everyone to make this kind of farm like growing everywhere. There's already some existing today, but my goal was more to focus on on kids because I feel like I told you before, like it's like we learn everything in school, you know, like you learn mathematics, history, geography, but you don't learn about like what you need to eat. And I mean, as much as I know, you need to eat like at least like three times a day. So I'm working as a nutritionist right now. And I have some students who just like send me email, like client, they say, you know what, I'm the university right now. I have no idea what to eat. I have no idea what to cook. Like, can you help me please? And I feel like that's very sad because we used to be a generation who was like, my parents show me how to cook because they used to cook a lot. So I feel lucky and grateful for that. Mm -hmm. But as today, parents don't have time anymore because like usually, I mean, like we're in 2021. So like the mother works, the father works, everybody's working. So like we don't take the time to appreciate like the dinner, the family dinner or the lunch where everybody can be together, cook together and share that experience together which is very sad because as, for me, I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. And um, it is all about that, like trying to bring back this thing who used to exist like 50 years ago, you know, because it's necessary for the kid to learn because it's not when he's going to be 16 or 17 or when he have to go to the university, like he's going to, he's going to be by himself and like it's too late. And that at that time, or you start having bad habits. Mm -hmm. And after it's very, it's very hard to fight this bad habit. So yeah, it's a, it's a big, big, big challenge, but I'm not the first chef who, who started that. Like, I mean, like there is like a, a big no chef is called like Jamie Oliver in Britain, in Great Britain, who started that and like fighting like obesity for kids and all that. So there's a lot of chef who's doing that. And I'm just trying to, to bring my piece of this big challenge. You're doing great things, Chef Anthony, and I am super, super, super proud of you. And uh, we've, we've got to get you back on the air. And I know we're going to have a lot more talking about, definitely would like to get to talking about special recipes. If you have one, share it. I know you gave me some great tips on steak, how to cook a medium rare, because I did not know how to cook a medium rare steak. Uh, <laughs> but if... Uh, what would you like to uh, add in addition? Is there any favorite recipes that you would like to share? Something tip for those that are listening? Um, and then at the same time, where's the best place for people to find out more about you? And I did share for the ABC Foundation, you know, go to chefanthonybar.com. There is a foundation tab there. What else would you like to include? So those are like the tips and the best tip I can give to people is like, just like try to go around the corner when you're looking for like fresh produce like there is season you know and like people have to understand that like even like here we're in california you can find everything like all year round but as much as you follow the season because you can find online any like fruit and vegetable calendar who follow the season you will understand that like the produce you buy at that time first of all is going to be low cost you know and it's going to be like way more rich in nutrients and vitamin that stuff you can find when it's not from the season mm -hmm. like keep in mind most of produce you buy like in supermarket and all that it's probably like produce who came from spain or anywhere else or already spent like maybe two months on the boat or like three weeks in the fridge so they still look good but they don't have the nutrient the nutrient and the vitamin that you could find if you go to the farmer's market or if you work with someone like close to where you live 
So that's very important for me. There's no special recipe really. It's more like I know sometimes you have to put a little bit more expensive for buy like quality produce. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you that's money is gonna spend on nice produce. It's not the money you're gonna spend on pills or medicine because you don't you don't feel good, you know. So that's very important for me to understand that stop going to the easy way and supermarket and buy like the cheaper stuff because you treating with your body and your health, you know. So honestly, like it's very important to understand that. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And who would you like to give a shout out to, Chef? What is a shout out? <laughs> no, I said chef. Did, I, did you not hear that? I said what, a shout out. Oh, shout out. Um, like, who would you like to thank, give, re give recognition to, anything at all? I mean, first of all, you to oh, have me like today. You know? <laughs> thank you. And, um, and, I, and I think it's very, uh, it's very about like, I, I'm here today with like a little different step of my life. And I feel like we all have like a goal and a mission to accomplish. And as today I find mine, and instead of being selfish about like being the best chef ever of the world, I do think like as a chef, I have a message to give to people because I know what is good for them. And that's why I'm working on it today. So I thank like everybody who's like following me on this journey. And like I say, on my Instagram, you can, you can follow me to see what I'm doing every day to be close to achieve my goal. So I'm very thankful for everything. So there's no one person really. I'm, I'm thankful for where I am today and like everybody around me. So I like that. Thank you so much. And um, thank you for being with us here live on air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5. Hold the line, Chef. I'm going to get right back to you. You all heard it. Chef Anthony Barr. Go to chefanthonybarr.com. Go to the foundation. Support. Help. Uh, Chef Anthony has got some great tips um, and uh, his Instagram is incredible. And that's the other thing, Chef. Give your uh, Instagram handle because I don't have that memorized. So it's a Chef Anthony Barr. That's it. <laughs> Chef yeah, Anthony easy. Barr. <laughs> easy. <laughs> All right. Chef, thank you. Like I said, I'm going to be back with you. We're, we are closing now. I want to thank everyone for uh, hanging in there and being patient until we got on live. And uh, this is this is just super amazing. We've been wanting to get Chef Anthony Barr on uh, the show and on the station for some time now. Our our schedules finally met, and um, this is this is really going places for him and what he's doing and what his goals are and his purpose. And he really, really is an incredible person. And I am truly thankful to know him, to call him my friend and to have him as a guest here live on air with Stephen Cuoco on power 98.5 chef, Anthony Barr, chef, Anthony Barr.com. Find out more, just click type, go to his Instagram. You're going to love it. He looks like a GQ model too. Socials and let's connect.